as I promised you, this is going to be part two. Okay. <laughs> so David said that, is there not a cause? You need to watch part one to be able to, to get the message. Is there not a cause? And I ask every South African, is there not a cause? This is really not about color. This is really about Christianity and Judaism. And if you take the two together, we read the Old Testament and the New Testament. We should be reading both. If you've just got the New Testament, you need to get the full Bible. And um, as I open here, um, I'm, I opened on Namia, and the Lord is reminding me that that was the first message. If you go and you look at my YouTube on Esther Bester, because that was my previous surname, you will see I did a message for the country and for Jacob Zuma, and of course for Israel, for um, Prime Minister Netanyahu where the Lord was speaking um, and he was saying to South Africa that Nehemiah is so important to the South Africans. We need to restore the walls. Now, the question that I'm asking you today is, do you want to be part of this reformation? Because that's what it is. It's a move. It's a change. And it's a train that needs to go. There are coals that need to be put on the train. And there is people that have got the resources for these coals and we need to keep the fire going and it's going to be moved by God's children that's the body of Christ this is not a church movement this is political and economical it's going to be run by the church um, the body of Christ and we're going to also have the Jewish people involved with us we're not going to stand alone God expects us to stand with the God of the Bible, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which the Jews believe in. And then there are other Jews. Um, I know of a few Jews. Maybe you do too. They became Christians. But they are both Jew and Christian. I'd like to bring to you what God has given me as well. This is a train that's going to move through South Africa. It's got different carriages. We're looking at the eight spheres of society. We're looking at the two most important. Well, obviously these three. The front, the engine, will be the body of Christ that's going to pull it forward. And, uh, and as I said, the Jewish um, people will be involved with us. This train needs coals, like I mentioned before. So if you've got the finances to move this forward, please stand with me. Going straight for the, the, the figure, we need 650,000 to contest 2019's elections. If we don't reach 650,000, it means it will be at the very next election. But I don't want to wait five years for that to happen. So if you're a businessman out there, please listen to what God has given me, and you dissect it, and you contact me. What is happening is, we're going to be building the political sphere that means we need to go into Parliament. It means Esther needs to go into the palace. That's the highest place to rule and reign. I'm not saying I'm going to rule and reign on my own. God has given me a strategy for that. I'm not alone. And I never will be alone. Esther was never alone in the Bible. She had the, all the Jewish people standing with her. This is about coming against Haman and the Amalek spirit. we got to do it in prayer. And God will help us. But if God gives us a strategy, which is giving me a strategy now, we must walk it out. That's the action. So the political party will be called prayer, a hope, prayer and action. And hope stands for houses of prayer everywhere. It's going to train you to know your calling and your destiny. So what is your purpose while you're here on earth? Destiny here on earth and then your ultimate calling and destiny will be to serve the king, um, and then meet him in heaven one day when you leave here. So there's not just the spiritual side, we've got a physical and a spiritual side to us. This is a training, I'm just bringing in a very condensed format for you. We're going to focus on building you in your sphere, and as I said, there's economics, um, the eight spheres is economics, it will be um, politics, which is the government, we're going to establish the agricultural sector and the health sector together. We're going to look at sports and entertainment. There's the family. 
there's also the um, education sphere, and then also the family. Um, the church, in some countries it will be church or religion, depending on what is running the country. Some Christians may not speak up. Please take note, the warning goes out. If we do not stand up, this country will not remain a Christian country. For the soldiers that fought on the border, you think you fought for nothing. The method that was used was to bring communism into our country, and they've done a good job of it. Now it's time for us to stand up and say, you've lied to us long enough. Socialism is part of Marxism. It's part of communism. And they all work together hand in hand. And um, so I'd like to just say we need to bring back Christianity into our country, into our schools, into our homes. And then our churches need to stand up, look outside the church. What the Lord gave me was if the government goes into church, church is not going to like it. And it's exactly what's happening. If church, which we must go into government. So the engine of the train is the body of Christ moving as one together. We will have leaders in those positions, prophets in those positions, and intercessors in those positions. And then evangelists, the fivefold, will be in the, the, the front of the train, moving this thing forward, but having a goal going into government, going into parliament, taking the 400 seats, because the Baal prophets have been speaking from these 400 seats. Now, some of them, I would say about seven, at the moment, that is filled by God's children. I'm not saying there aren't God's children sitting in the other chairs, but they're not representing the God of the Bible in their political sphere. So their political party doesn't represent the Bible completely. And I stand under correction, but you're welcome to let me know as well, and then put your, your argument to it, because the ANC, um, the EFF, the DA, not one, stands for Biblical Principles, according to what um, is Christian, Judeo um, Christianity. Um, I'd like to also, and, and the one that I can bring out the most is um, Cain and Abel. When, when um, God said to, to Abel, where's your brother? And he said, I'm my brother's keeper. And God said, the blood is speaking up from the ground. When we allowed abortion into our country, through all the political parties in government that agreed to abortion, to make that um, legal, you already gave right to the blood to cry from the ground to the soil. And that is why we've got so much chaos. Look nicely, it's not about color. Please, please don't be deceived. And you do see it as color because the enemy will use anything to camouflage. They will start with color, but it won't end there. Um, war like this never stops. It goes from one to the next to the next generation. So we have to stop it. And there is a strategy. God's given it to us and we will use it. So this train is going to go. Its coaches are eight. That's the eight spheres. But there are wheels, and the wheels need to turn. And these wheels need to go, but they need coals to pull the wheels. So I'm asking you to stand with me. And then every member that joins in this um, political side or the economical side, we will build you both politically or economically. You will learn how to be self-sustainable. You will be learning how to be an entrepreneur if you want to. You will learn how to do it globally or locally. You will sell physical products or you will sell um, digital products. This is to help you to get off your feet and to help unemployment to change. I cannot do this stra st strategy by myself. God's given it to me. I believe in it. And that is why I have to go politics and you have to go politics if God called you. If you study politics, you have to connect with me. God wants those that are trained and qualified. If you're not, contact me and we train you and you go through a process. And while you're getting trained, you will still go to the highways and the byways because God did, did not say, come to the church, sit in the church, sit in the pew, get the message, go out and not be effective. God wants us to be effective. There's going to be a part three. So if you will link up with me on part three, and I just want to say to everybody, I'm doing this because I believe in you and I believe in every South African. And those that are in our country that are not South Africans, I don't hate you. I just know that if you don't help us build this country, you're going to have no country to stay in. And I would like to see all the illegal aliens, all those that are coming from other countries 
that have jumped our borders, that have come here with passports and got underhanded methods to come in, that God exposes you because it's time for you to go back home. Get the message that God loves this country and He loves the people in this country, but He will not tolerate um, this um, um, heathen methods in our land anymore. So David spoke up, Esther spoke up, and that's what I'm speaking of. I love you, God bless you, and watch part three. God, and if you want to contact me, please do so on email, hope, prayer and action at gmail.com. And you can also go watch me on YouTube. Please um, subscribe on YouTube and then Twitter and Facebook as well. Esther Cardinals. Blessings. Bye-bye.